Hokulea's sister canoe, Hikianalia. Named after the star known in English as Spica, Hikianalia is the companion star to Hokulea, rising together in the night sky just over Hawaii. As Hokulea is guided by the wisdom of our ancestors, Hikianalia also offers contemporary solutions to some of the world's most pressing issues through modern scientific research aimed at the goal of Malama Honua. Mantacho on the water! One of the ways that we're trying to accomplish that is to better understand the ocean or the different places that we're visiting and to try and learn from what we observe or from what different cultures or communities share with us about how they manage their resources. Crew members will be assessing the current state of the ocean's ecosystems by gathering data from their fish project, looking at what marine life throughout the world are feeding on, and also through their plankton tow project, giving even more insight into the state of our oceans around the globe, all of which will enhance the learning experience for our keiki here at home. If not only for the experience of being able to apply what we're learning, but if anything, just those connections that we make will be a really big part of my life. As Hokulea and Hikianalia set sail on their most ambitious voyage, crew members are mindful of the impact that will be made well after the canoes reach their final destinations. We've been talking about how do you measure a successful voyage, that this was worth it. For me, it's truly to see a movement happening. Because the canoe is voyaging for our community, I'm really excited in 2017 when we sail back to every community in Hawaii to collect stories of what are they doing because the canoes took this chance. This voyage is for Hawaii, especially for its children. Hiki coming home was intentional that it could physically reconnect to our islands, okay. our communities, to our schools, to access our children. So you'd have Hokulea going around the earth and you'd have Hikanalea going around Hawaii, but physically being in ports next to communities, next to schools, to bring children down so they can touch the canoes and get her prepared for her circumnavigation of the Pacific. And so being connected to these communities and constantly with them, I think is a very important part of how we define why voyaging is important.